Hey guys, Super Mario Odyssey is my favorite game on the Switch. It might not be the best game on the Switch, but it's definitely my favorite one. That's why I was so disappointed when we never got a meaty DLC pack. I mean, I really thought we were going to get two or three more kingdoms in the form of DLC, but it never happened. On the positive side, Nintendo is definitely saving all these brand new kingdoms for a full out sequel. But what kingdoms could we even expect in a sequel? What mechanics are going to be added to keep the game fresh? And how will Nintendo possibly make Super Mario Odyssey 2 better than the original? In this video, come find out all my predictions for this game, everything from the small detail to the release date. There's not much more to say than enjoy the video, grab your favorite snack, yum yum yum. Don't forget to sub, I'm talking to you, don't forget. And here we go! The first kingdom I would love to see is some sort of mountain kingdom. I love verticality in my 3D Mario games. Both the Wooded Kingdom and the Luncheon Kingdoms had you make big climbs to progress the story. But in the Mountain Kingdom, the climb would be the story. Using different pipes, ramps, and terrains, you would climb a massive mountain similar to Everest. There would have to be a ton of checkpoints along the way, because if you make one mistake, you could end up falling halfway down the mountain. But when you fully reach the summit, you can look over the edge and see all the obstacles that you had to overcome to reach the top. This kingdom might have a little bit more of a linear stage design, similar to Super Mario Galaxy, but I think it would be so much fun to just climb up a huge mountain. So there should definitely be a classic boss battle at the top of this mountain. Who do you guys think Mario should face? A classic level type that has basically appeared in every single Mario game except Super Mario Odyssey has to be a haunted kingdom. I know, the Cap Kingdom kinda was like that, but it really wasn't. I want Mario to enter a ghost house, or ghost ship, or ghost hotel. The key word is ghost, or boo. Yeah, the key word is boo. I love all the boo stages. They usually have some sort of maze that really changes the gameplay style. I know Luigi's Mansion 3 is coming out later next year, but I think there's enough King Boo to go around that he can make an appearance in both games. Boos and ghost stages have been around Mario from almost the beginning. They've been in Mario 64, they've been in Sunshine, Galaxy, every game. So the sequel needs to include some sort of mazy, boozy, ghosty stage. The kingdom that Mario fans want more than any other has to be Isle Delfino. A Sunshine Kingdom would just be amazing. Getting to see all the sights and sounds of Isle Delfino but in stunning HD would be breathtaking and it wouldn't be a Sunshine Kingdom without your good old buddy Flood. Similarly, like how Mario captured Yoshi in the Mushroom Kingdom, here Mario would capture Flood. It would be kinda crazy to see Flood platforming all around but with Mushroom's signature hat and mustache. Isle Delfino was teased in the Japanese marketing for Super Mario Odyssey before it was released. So I'm not sure if this kingdom was originally planned to be in the game and they ran out of time, or they figured it would be DLC, or they just realized, hey, let's come out with a sequel and Isle Delfino would be a perfect way to launch it. Of the three kingdom locations that I just spoke about, I would say an Isle Delfino is the biggest lock to actually appear in a Super Mario Odyssey sequel. <laughs> If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I would think the story would have to be something about Bowser kidnapping Luigi and Mario having to go from kingdom to kingdom to track him down and rescue his brother. And for some post-game action, once you rescue Luigi, you can actually turn him into a fully playable character. But that has me thinking, what other characters do you really want to see appear in Super Mario Odyssey 2? <laughs> There really never has been a great multiplayer in 3D Mario games. It would be fun to have a second character on the screen to help the first player. Maybe this could be some sort of easy mode having two players on the screen helping each other out. I do have one other idea for multiplayer. It is a little bit crazy. This one might make me sound a little bit insane. But let's open the floodgates in terms of characters. I'm not just talking about Luigi and Yoshi, but how about Peach, 
Wario, Waluigi, and even Mayor Pauline. And no, they all won't be playable characters in the main story, but they will be playable in a brand new online mode. Try to stay with me for this one. How about a monthly online multiplayer mission that requires tons of characters to complete? It would be very similar to what the Destiny franchise does or what the Splatoon does with their Splatfests. How fun would it be to work with all these different players and characters to complete some sort of mission or goals? Adding monthly content like this would give Super Mario Odyssey 2 so much replayability and so much legs that even after the paid DLC was done, these monthly missions could go on for years. I really think if it was fun, people would come back month after month. I love the graphics and art style of Super Mario Odyssey. They just look great. So many of the kingdoms look so different from one another. Just take a look at the Cascade Kingdom and the Forgotten Kingdom. They basically look like they're from different games. This is what made Super Mario Odyssey so amazing. It was the variety. The mixture of cartoonish worlds and then super realism worlds is just freaking beautiful and great to see. It really kept the game feeling fresh. A sequel should push this even further to the next level. I'd love to see Mario in places and art styles that we couldn't even think about or had never seen before. Just remember that one level in Super Mario Bros. U, you know, the one that looked like a painting. I want more of that. If Nintendo does plan on using the same game engine as the first game, which I think they will, then making each kingdom look as different as possible is so important. Some people think that Super Mario Odyssey was a little all over the place, but that's something I really loved. I would hope the sequel would be even more of that. I want to see things that look so different from one another. One kingdom will feel one way, then the next kingdom will feel totally different. That's what makes the art style of these Mario games so unique and amazing. Yup, this one's easy. Adding Yoshi to a sequel is a no-brainer and it would add such a nice twist to the gameplay. I mean, come on, Yoshi is such a fan favorite. I know, Yoshi was in Super Mario Odyssey 1, but come on, being able to actually ride Yoshi to solve puzzles and ride throughout all the levels would be such a blast. It's one thing to be able to capture Yoshi and it's another thing entirely to be able to ride him like we used to so many times in the past. So to be able to predict a release date for Super Mario Odyssey 2, let's first take a look back at the last 3D Mario game that got a true sequel. Super Mario Galaxy was released in North America on November 12th in 2007, and then the sequel, Super Mario Galaxy 2, was released on May 23rd, 2010. So basically that's a two and a half year gap between the first game and the second game. So if it takes the same amount of time to develop Super Mario Odyssey 2, that would mean that we could expect the sequel in the summer of 2020. Oh man, can you just imagine playing the next 3D Mario in the summertime? Either way, even if it takes a little bit longer for this game to come out and for them to put all the special charm and spices into this game, we could be expecting to play Super Mario Odyssey 2 sometime in the year 2020. 2019 already is a jam-packed year of games, so having this game come in the year 2020 would be perfect, and I can't wait to get my hands on Super Mario Odyssey 2. So if you notice, I didn't mention Cappy at all in this video because I think that mechanic is basically going to go unchanged. I love the Cappy throw and capture mechanic. I mean, there's just so many possibilities for what Nintendo could do for the sequel. In the first game, you were able to capture a real life looking T-Rex or a cartoon fireball. So I just can't wait to see what the brilliant minds of Nintendo have in store for us to capture in Super Mario Odyssey 2. But let me ask you guys, what kingdoms do you think will appear in Super Mario Odyssey 2, and when do you think it'll come out? I predicted 2020, but I really want to know what you think. Let me know right down here in the comments section. I'll be sure to get back to you. We can start some dialogue about this. Again, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. I live stream a few times a week. I make prediction videos, discussion videos, all that stuff. So if you're interested at all, how about you hit that subscribe button? It goes bop, bop. It's really easy. And ring that bell. So next time I go live with content, you get it right away. Again, guys, this is Turbo Jesse, and I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me.